Hi there, I'm Marie. Today, I want to share with you how to make this quick and easy French carrier bag. The bag is roomy and flexible and you can fit many items in it. I'm using this size 4 cotton yarn and a size 5 milliliter hook for this bag. Before creating a slip knot, make sure to leave at least 12 inches tail behind. We will use it to reinforce the base to make the bag stronger. Start by chaining 4. Join the chains with a slip stitch to form a circle. Now, chain 2. This chain 2 counts as a double crochet for this pattern. Chain 1 for a chain space. Do a double crochet. Chain 1 followed by a double crochet. Go ahead and do 5 more stitches with a chain 1 between each stitch. At the end of the round, chain 1 and slip stitch to the top of the beginning chain 2 to close the round. We finished with 8 double crochets and 8 chain 1 spaces in the ring. To start round 2, slip stitch into the next chain space. We will do this in every new round because all our stitches are worked into the chain spaces. Now, chain 2 as a double crochet. And one more for a space. Do a double crochet into the same chain space. Chain 1. Do one double crochet into the next chain space. Chain 1 again. Do a double crochet into the same chain space. Chain 1 again. Do one double crochet into the next chain space. Chain 1 again. Do a double crochet into the same chain space. Continue putting a double crochet, chain 1, and a double crochet into each chain space, with a chain 1 in between each. This is essentially a V-stitch. At the end of the round, slip stitch to the top of the beginning chain 2. We have 8 V's and a chain 1 between each. Moving on to round 3. First, slip stitch into the next chain space. Chain 2, then chain 1 more for the space. Do a double crochet into the same chain space. So. We have just completed a V. Here's the chain space between two Vs. Chain 1. Put a double crochet in it. Chain 1 again. Do a V on top of the V from the previous round. The basic pattern has been set up. We put V's on top of V's and double crochets in chain spaces. 
Repeat the same pattern all the way around. I have completed round 3. So we put V's on top of V's, chain 1, double crochets in chain spaces, that's the basic of this pattern. For round 4 and all subsequent rounds, we'll have one additional chain space between the V's. Okay, I've completed round 10. You can see there are 8 sections divided by the V's. Before we continue, I'll show you how to weave in the tail and strengthen the bottom. Go around the base chains in full circle and tie a slip knot. Go around in full circle in the second round and tie another slip knot. Now, we have a much stronger bottom. Here, I've completed 23 rounds. For round 24 and 25, we will decrease stitches. We'll replace each V, which has 3 stitches, with a half double crochet. Also, we will do half double crochets before and after the decreased stitch. Now, slip stitch into the first V chain space. Chain 2. This chain 2 counts as a half double crochet stitch. Chain 1. Do not do a V. Instead, do a half double crochet into the next chain space. Next, continue and do the double crochet and chain 1 pattern until we get to the next V. Here we are one stitch before the next V. Do a half double crochet. Chain 1. A half double crochet in the V chain space. Chain 1. And another half double crochet in the next chain space. These shorter stitches and the stitch decrease help soften the curve of the circle. Go ahead and finish round 25 and 26 and I'll show you the next step. I have now completed 26 rounds. The diameter is 12 inches. Next, we'll add borders and handles to the bag. There are 8 sections on the circle, 2 each for the 2 sides. Two for the front and two for the back. We'll do the edging for the back part of the back first. We'll be decreasing stitches as we go along. To start the edging, slip stitch into the next chain space. Chain 1. This is a turning chain and doesn't count as a stitch. Do a single crochet in the first chain space. This single crochet is the first stitch of the edging. Skip one stitch. Do a single crochet in the next chain space. We start the row with two single crochets in the first two chain spaces. Next, you skip a whole chain space, which is three stitches. Put a single crochet into the following chain space. Skip a chain space again and put a single crochet in the next chain space. So, follow the same pattern along the edge and make 18 more single crochet stitches. Put a single crochet into the last chain space.
Just as we did from the beginning, we also end the row with two single crochets side by side without skipping a chain space, okay? Next, chain one and turn the work. Do a single crochet in the first stitch. Do the single crochet in each stitch all the way across. And then repeat for four more rows. Here I've completed six rows of single crochet stitches. Loop a slip knot and fasten off. This is the first time we cut the yarn up to this point. The edging for the back of the bag is done. For the front edging, locate the two sections at the opposite side of the circle and repeat the same pattern. The edgings for the front and back are done. Next, we'll start the front handle here. Then the side edging, continue on to the back handle and finish the round on the other side of the edging. This will be done in a continuous fashion without cutting the yarn. Mark the beginning spot so we know where we'll be ending our stitches later. Chain 70 for the length of the handle. We will have a 9 inch drop link after it's done. Join the chain to the panel with a single crochet. Next, work 5 more single crochets, one for each row. The next stitch is for the side edge of the bag. We'll be decreasing stitches here. Skip the first stitch. Put a single crochet in the first chain space. The decrease pattern is exactly the same for the edges we did below the handles. Skip a stitch. Put a single crochet in the second chain space. Next, skip a chain space and do a single crochet in the following chain space. Skip a chain space, single crochet in the next chain space. For the rest of the stitches, follow the same pattern in reverse manner, as both sides are identical. We are back to the starting point. We have completed round one of the handles and sides. Moving on to round two. Work single crochets into the chains. I recommend working the stitches into the back bumps. It gives a better looking finish. The stitches on both edges look the same. From this point on, work single crochets in a continuous fashion for 5 more rounds. Okay, I've done all 6 rounds and arrived at the spot where we started. Now, we'll smooth out the edge with 2 slip stitches.
Then turn the work to the back side and pull the loop through. Tie a slip knot and fasten off. Weave in the loose end and we are done. I think it's a lovely carry-off bag. Thank you for watching. I invite you to check out other crochet projects on my channel. Bye for now.